Whether we like it or not, Australia is growing. We are becoming incredibly diverse, culturally, religiously, ethnically, socially. Our curriculum needs to meet that. The newcomers to Australia and our refugee families are learning a completely different culture. There are a lot of misunderstandings between different cultures, unfortunately. Especially the students whom I'm teaching, they don't have any idea about the education system here. High school students, they're battling, trying to make subject choices that could actually affect where they go in future. We looked at the curriculum, looked at where they were engaging in community. At that point in time, our students were more passive learners. There's still an attitude in Australia generally that we're isolated and we're not part of the world. We're now seeing a lot more cultures come through, which is really wonderful as an educator because it's really important for children to know that this isn't all there is. We need to have more of an intercultural understanding of people. We need to have an empathy. We need to develop our children to want to change the world. Through global citizenship education, we give teachers the tools to find how they can bring different cultures and different ways of thinking into their classroom. So we have projects from the Global Learning Centre. Alyssa Cleary has just helped us write curriculum units. What we decided was that the group would be educating our children is through the Harvard Visible Thinking Routines. So that's just one approach. There's other approaches that you can use. Some schools will have a focus on human rights. Others will focus on cultural competence and cultural diversity. And then others, ecological sustainability. And some will do the lot. This is the, the versatility of teaching for global citizenship education. The Early Years Learning Framework is about being, belonging and becoming. You have your own story and you have your own culture and you have your own identity, but you're also learning to belong. In my class, students' linguistic background is different. I cannot expect them to talk and talk and talk in English, but they can talk a small sentence. So when I show them this strategy, they give their opinions, they share their opinions, and they learn. I wonder if the girl is going to get sick. I wonder why she drinks the dirty water. Maybe in that country there's more a lot of people. A lot of people, very good point. That's what's always interesting for me is, is seeing what is possible when you can actually trigger the heartstrings of those students. Their culture, the things we have, just all changed. So I like come back with a whole new me. Australia is such an inclusive place, but if we don't maintain that culture now, today, in, in these children as they grow up, they will be the ones that cause division, and that's not what we're about. The staff felt that they didn't have the confidence and the capabilities and so we needed to give them the tools to progress. That's where we at the Global Learning Centre show how we can take quite difficult topics and generate them from the very early ages right through to upper high school. They've actually sort of given us as the teachers the time to sort of plan and look and see where we can put global perspectives into our curriculum. It really does focus the teachers and that is now starting to sort of like expand through the whole school. Talking about the insights into students thinking. They're willing to really say good. things that might sound a little bit crazy or a little bit out there. They're linking the, the, the social side to the science side as well. They're thinking about other countries oh, nice. and more on a global scale. Not only are we building the students capacities to do that but our teachers are keen to go further. Once they see that starting to happen through the approach that we take with global citizenship education, they fly. They become competent and confident teachers. These routines, they don't need any resources. You just need enthusiastic children and you're off and running. And the ideas that you're going to get from it are going to blow your mind. I just hope that we can engage other teachers to take those risks. I don't understand any other school not embracing it because it's so much fun and so much to learn. Give the students and the staff the confidence to engage in many worldwide and global challenges. We can make that student a really good human being, ready citizen for this world. That's where we're headed with this work. It's about creating a future where everyone belongs. I'm really emotional. <laughs> it's just marvellous to see where you guys are at. 
and this is where we take it from. Children come first. We all want world peace and I think it starts here at Kindy.